Here is a problem that can be done using simple geometry, but uh, just for the heck of it, we will use the sine rule. Uh, I, let's recall what the sine rule was. Uh, if we have a triangle ABC, so any triangle ABC, the sine rule is a relationship that ties up the angles and the sides of the triangle. It simply says that sine of A angle A over the side A so the side opposite to angle A is side A is equal to sine of angle B over side B so the side opposite to angle B <coughs> is the side B is equal to sine of sine of C over C which is a small c now this particular uh, rule is very handy whenever you have a triangle and sides are related to sides and uh, you want to find out some information about angles this particular problem uh, rule becomes very useful so let's uh, show an example this is a problem from RMO uh, from Indian Mathematics Olympiad and it can be done without using trigonometry at all uh, but we will just for the fun of it we will do this using trigonometry so uh, let's pick the triangle we have an isosceles triangle AB equal to AC so the triangle looks like this so let's give it the name A B C and uh, we have AB equal to AC it also says I is the in center uh, recall that in center, in center is the intersection point, the intersection point of the angle bisectors. So the good news is that since this is an isosceles triangle, the angle bisector of angle A will be just the perpendicular dropped from A on BC. So this is the angle bisector and angle bisector of angle B will be somehow, somewhat like this. Uh, let's suppose this angle is theta, then this is theta and so on. Uh, a little angle chasing is fine. I mean, this angle would be 90 minus 2 theta. After all, this is theta, uh, this is 90 and this is 2 theta now. And if you look at, let's say if this is point I, if you look at this angle, this is 90 plus theta. After all, exterior angle is equal to uh, some of interior opposite angles. So this is the setup of the problem. And we are given that BC equals to AB plus AI. So if this point is D, D is the midpoint, of course, AD is the angle bisector which hits the midpoint of BC as ABC is an isosceles triangle. So BC is given to be AB plus AI. Uh, so we want to find out angle BAC. We want to find out angle BAC. Now there are plenty of ways of doing this problem as I said earlier but we will use um, trigonometry just to see how it can be done using trigonometry okay so uh, first let's look at this uh, triangle a b d uh, notice that cosine of 2 theta that is this angle is equal to b d over a b so b d is simply AB times cosine of 2 theta. So that's the first, this, let's record this as the first equation. And then we will go to the triangle, this triangle, ABI, triangle ABI, and we will apply the sine rule. We will apply the sine rule. So let's do that. Uh, so this angle sine of 90 plus theta as we computed earlier 
over AB is equal to sine of theta over AI. So this is theta. This angle is theta. So, so sine of 90 plus theta over AB is equal to sine of theta over AI. So we will use a well-known proportionality called addendo and uh, this rule says that if a by b is equal to c by d then each of these are equal to a plus c over b plus d. It's a very simple rule of proportionality that you can easily check. So using that we show that each of these ratios are sine of 90 plus theta plus sine theta over AB plus AI. Now sine of 90 plus theta, sine of 90 plus theta is also cosine of theta. So we have from this equation cosine of theta over AB equals to cosine of theta plus sine of theta over AB plus AI. Notice that the problem says AB plus AI is BC. AB plus AI is BC, which is of course twice of BD. So AB plus AI is AB plus AI. This is BC and that's twice of BD. Okay. Now we also have, a, have an expression for AB from equation 1 that we found here. So it was given that BD is equal to AB times cosine of 2 theta. So we can now replace cosine of theta divided by BD over cosine of 2 theta is equal to cosine theta plus sine theta over twice BD. And that's it we have reduced the entire expression of the problem in terms of an equation which only involves theta because bd and bd will cancel off so we have got it, gotten an equation in theta which we can now solve for this is a general strategy that we can use over and over again whenever you have um, a problem related to sides and angles Use trigonometry and reduce it to one equation using one variable angle. So let's uh, write this in whiteboard 2. We have cosine of theta times cosine of 2 theta divided by BD is equal to uh, cosine of theta plus sine of theta. Cosine of theta plus sine of theta by twice of BD. So BD, BD cancels and we know that cosine of 2 theta is so this is a formula from trigonometry that cosine of 2 theta is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta which is cos cosine theta plus sine theta times cosine theta minus sine theta. Now, so we replace cosine 2 theta by this quantity here and we have cosine theta times cosine theta plus sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta this is cosine theta plus sine theta divided by 2. So uh, a little bit of computation here but our main goal is already achieved we have reduced the problem into just trigonometric ratios now we have to be a little careful here uh, we want to cancel we want to cancel these two so this we can cancel off if cosine theta plus sine theta is not zero but that happens if theta is negative pi over 4 but theta is not a negative angle uh, so we can safely cancel this off realize that theta is the angle of this triangle 
theta is the angle of this triangle. So we have 2 theta here. So 2 theta is less than 90 degree, but between 0 to 90. So using that bound, we can safely say that theta is not negative pi by 4. So we can safely cancel this thing. It's very useful, important that you give the reasoning why you are canceling a factor of uh, just uh, mindless cancellations can lead to dangerous pitfalls okay so let's proceed so we have cosine square theta minus cosine theta sine theta equals to one half so let's multiply both sides by two so two cosine square theta minus cosine theta sine theta equals to one let's bring the one to the other side so we have 2 cosine square theta minus 1 so there, is, there was a 2 here so minus 2 sine theta cosine theta equal to 0 so this happens to be cosine 2 theta minus this one is sine 2 theta so this is the formula of sine 2 theta and this is the formula of cosine 2 theta so this is 0 this implies cosine 2 theta equal to sine 2 theta or 2 theta equals to pi over 4. Obviously that's because 2 theta is between 0 and 90 uh, according to the picture that we have here. So 2 theta is pi over 4 or 45 degree. So 90 minus 2 theta is also 45 degree. So this angle down here is 45 degree this angle down here is 45 degree and so this one is also 45 degree because it's bisecting the angle and we have angle A as 90 degree so angle A is 90 degree that's what we were trying to find out now notice that this particular problem can be done uh, without using trigonometry at all and uh, it's in fact advisable and interesting to do that um, but it's also useful to have several tools in your arsenal uh, and often use those tools to solve pro the same problem in a different way so this trigonometric tool of sine rule can be very handy even in more complicated scenarios uh, thanks for watching and solve great problems